Kata vs. Bunkai. What came first in karate history? In the traditional practice of karate, kata forms came first, followed by bunkai, analysis or application of the movements in kata. Here's a brief explanation. Kata are prearranged sequences of movements that include various stances, strikes, kicks, and blocks. These forms are designed to help practitioners internalize the fundamentals of karate, such as balance, timing, and coordination. Kata also serve as a way to preserve and transmit the techniques and principles of karate from one generation to the next. Bunkai is the process of breaking down and analyzing the movements in kata to understand their practical applications in self-defense scenarios. It involves interpreting the techniques and understanding how they can be applied in real-life fighting situations. Bunkai allows practitioners to move from the theoretical practice of kata to the practical application of the movements. Historical context? Historically, the practice of kata was established to encode and preserve the martial techniques and principles developed by karate practitioners. Over time, as these forms were practiced, the need to understand and apply these movements in actual combat situations led to the development of bunkai. Thus, kata was the foundation, and bunkai emerged as a method to decipher and utilize the knowledge embedded within the kata. In summary, kata came first as the structured forms to teach and preserve karate techniques, and bunkai followed as the interpretive practice to apply these techniques effectively. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, follow, and share, so your friends know the difference between kata and bunkai.